It has some fruit. It has some oceanic characteristics. But can the peat compete? Welcome to another episode of Air Grade Whiskey Studies. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Kilhoman Macur Bay Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. Now, when most people think about heavily peated whiskeys, they generally think about Isla, although there are at least a dozen distilleries on the mainland of Scotland that produce heavily peated whiskeys, and I'm planning on doing an entire series on those. But generally speaking, when people think of heavily peated whiskeys, they think of Isla. And when they think of Isla, they tend to go towards the southern distilleries, the Froig, Lagavulin, and Ardbeg. Although, there are a couple northern ones that also produce heavily peated whiskey, such as the Octomore from Brucati. However, when people talk about heavily peated whiskeys, I don't ever hear them mention Kilhoman, generally speaking. Particularly, I don't hear them mention the Macur Bay. This is actually a really heavily peated whiskey. The question I have then is, can this compete with other heavily peated whiskeys from Isla? But before I answer that question, here are my notes. Kilhoman Macur Bay Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. It was distilled in 2010 and bottled in 2016, making it a six-year-old whiskey. The barley was peated at 50 ppm. It was then aged in 90% ex bourbon cast, 10% ex oloroso sherry cast. It is a non aged statement. It was bottled at 46% alcohol by volume. It is non chill filtered, has natural color, and sells anywhere between $50 and $55 here in the United States. All right, so as you saw there in the notes, this is actually peated at a ppm level equivalent to many of Ardbeg, Laphoric, and Lagavulin. It's a young whiskey, only six years old. So that youth also tends to add to um, how pronounced the peat is. The real challenge I think this whiskey has is does it have the complexity and layers of flavor and development of the heavily peated whiskeys of Southern Isla that everybody tends to rave about? Because in terms of price, it is in the price range of a lot of your heavily pitted, say, art bags. But on the nose, I get smoke and peat, but I get some citrus, I get a little bit of lemon, perhaps a little bit of uh, lemon pudding. I get a little bit of tropical, maybe a little bit of pineapple. I get a little bit of saltiness, and the peat in the smoke is quite aggressive. And I got a lot of vanilla. All right, on the palate. Wow. This is a really heavily peated whiskey and really, really intense. When I first had a neck pour, all I was getting was a lot of ash. But as you've heard me say before, you don't ever judge a whiskey by a neck pour. Once I got past the shoulder, some of the fruit characteristics started coming out, and I started getting a little bit more of uh, the saltiness and other characteristics. The challenge of this whiskey is what I really, really want from a, from a whiskey is layers of flavor and a development from the front to the mid palate and into the finish. What I really like about a peated whiskey is when the smoke just doesn't sort of fight with the whiskey, but is inner twined with all the other characteristics on the aromas and the flavors. But what I've got going on here is basically the same thing from the front to the middle and into the finish. Some citrus, like some lemon, a little bit of saltiness, a little bit of chocolate, maybe a little bit of pineapple, and a lot of uh, smoke and peat. And what I find is the fruit characteristics that are there and the peat and the smoke are sort of fighting with each other. It's, there isn't a nice marriage, an, an inner uh, twined character of the peat, the smoke, and the fruit characteristics. And I've got it you know, down here below the shoulder, and by now, I would really, really, really hope that it would become a lot more intertwined with each other. And I get the same thing in the front, in the middle, and into the finish. And on the 
back end on the finish, the characteristics that ride along with the smoke is that youth, that youth spirit characteristic. Now, I've had it on ice and it's okay, it's, it's nice, but as a young whiskey, it lacks the complexity, it lacks the layers of flavor, and it lacks the development that I'm looking for in a whiskey. So, uh, put up against some other, even young um, Isla whiskeys, such as the Ardbeg 10, uh, I think the Ardbeg 10 would just absolutely blow this away. Now, if all you're looking for is peat, peat, and peat, and smoke and peat, you know, then just buy a bottle of peated new make and drink that. And if you go to Isla, you can do that. And I brought back a, a few bottles from um, uh, the mainland and from Isla of peated uh, new make. And if you just want peat upon peat, just drink that. But we want more than that. We Even peat heads, we want more than that. We want layers of flavor and complexity and fruit and, and other uh, interesting components to the whiskey. Now, it's not a bad whiskey. It's a good whiskey. It's just, it's got a lot of competition in that price range. They're going to really, really blow this away. So what am I going to give it in terms of a score? I'm going to go solid 86 points. 86 points. So it's not one I would say, hey, you need to run out there and buy. It's not one that I, hey, oh, kill, kill home and mac your bait. Got to grab that one, right? That's sort of, it's good. If someone gave me a bottle, I'd be happy with it. But it's not one that's just sort of ringing my bell. It, it's just a, sort of really a, a good okay whiskey that has a lot out there to compete with and it's going to be challenged on that front. Alrighty, uh, that's it for this review. Um, if you're one of my patrons, I want to thank you very much for supporting my channel and joining my little community. If you are a subscriber, I want to thank you very much. But if you like my videos and you aren't yet a subscriber, I'm going to ask that you subscribe, ring the bell, and uh, so you can be notified the next time I go live or post a new video. All right, that's it for this review, and until next time, cheers. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and check out these other whiskey videos.